Hey, this is Jeff Walters with JJWDesign.com. Here to talk about an exciting new functionality that's built into the Google Maps package. It's the polygon shape selection and add to target list functionality that's now part of the Google Maps package for Sugar CRM. I'm going to demonstrate this uh, powerful functionality that should uh, definitely change the way that both sales and marketing are populating target lists. You know, in tr traditional ways of doing things, you would you know, go into your leads and, and perhaps select you know, a particular city such as Orlando, uh, search for that city, and then select the items, uh, select all, and then go to add to target list. Um, now you can actually add to target list based on mapping data as well as selecting regions within a map. So let's go ahead and, and create a target list first. I've got a testing target list here, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to base this off of an assumption that perhaps you know you're doing some sort of road trip. Um, I'll call it road trip for now. You know, maybe uh, uh, West Michigan, West uh, Lake Michigan area. Uh, Michigan. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save that. And now let's go over to our maps, um, the mapping module. Let me just sneak in here, go to list maps. I've already got a map created here that shows all the mapping leads. Um, this is basically an all-encompassing um, leads map. This should map close to, I think it's close to 5,100, 5,200 leads. It'll, it'll create a little bit of a delay and loading this map uh, what we'll get is a bunch of testing data that will uh, help me demonstrate this selecting functionality so now in the past of course you know we had um, filtering based off a of legend you know if we're looking at um, a bunch of leads here we can reduce the number of leads by toggling the legend for example, in, in this particular case, I don't necessarily want to see dead leads, and I don't want to see any converted leads. Let's just work on the, the new leads and ones that are new new in progress, perhaps assigned, um, and perhaps recycled as well. So I'm going to toggle these off, and this will actually change what's displayed in the map. It will filter what's in the map, and it will also filter what's shown down in this listing view. So let me scroll down a little bit so we can see the listing view. Um, right now we've got 5,083. If I turn these back on, you'll notice the number goes up to 5,144. So it's it's actually filtering both the map and the listing view. This is important because we want to be able to export this listing view or perhaps add it to a target list this selection down here you can see road trip and target list is now part of this uh, added functionality to be able to take this listing view and add each one of these items to a particular target list that's a very powerful functionality because we can also instead of filtering by legend we can filter by an area as well now one of the more obvious I guess would be you know to select by uh, a circle radius or you know, perhaps a you know section like St. Louis maybe you're visiting a city you have a salesperson going into St. Louis and you want to go ahead and select that region um, you can draw in a circle and that will actually select all the marker points within a certain distance of St. Louis and then fill them in and filter that is the the number of items here um, this is showing it's filtered from 5144 total entries. It's only showing 31 though that's in the St. Louis area. To make it more clear what we can do is we can turn off toggle clustering. If I turn that off it'll make it more obvious where those markers are. And this is something I'm going to do for the rest of this tutorial is show you that we can you know, um, more easily identify the areas we want to visit with the, with the toggle the, of the clustering, turning it off, that you know makes it a lot easier to see where the markers are. Of course, it you know 
makes it a little harder to identify how many but it, uh, it's definitely a, a better way to, in, in this particular case on selecting a region like the west side of, of Lake Michigan say for example we want to fly into Milwaukee uh, and then drive on down towards Chicago we might want to select all these leads in and around those two cities to be able to visit uh, you know a lot of clients in that area in order to select that target list you know a circle or square you know rectangular shape obviously might work fairly well as you can see here you know I can get most of Michigan um, I can also remove this and use a polygon shape polygon shapes are more um, more powerful because we can adjust them select them um, of course my polygon shape doesn't seem to be functioning oh there it goes took a little bit of time there my browser is a little slow but I can cut into certain areas cut back out and create a shape now this shape here now is actually selecting all these leads within that area if I click off of it it'll go back to the uh, 5083 entries that's you know minus the uh, convert in dead leads if I click onto that area it will show me what's inside of that area shown in the listing view now this is also you know filtered by legend of course so there's two different filters going on one is by legend the other is by the area the shape that's selected um, you can in fact add multiple shapes so say for example we want a rectangular section maybe just the southern part of uh, Lake Michigan we could do something like that showing here there's only 173 entries if I select the go back and select the other polygon shape or that that polygon shape we now have 191 entries um, so it's you know it's fairly flexible you can add as many different shapes as you want uh, in case you want to add more than once into a target list um, let's go ahead and though and populate this target list now with just this one shape and what I'll do is go down here select road trip and then click add to target it'll say add to target list you sure and it'll say okay and it'll start processing these 191 entries into the road trip target list and a couple seconds later it'll say the target list has been updated road trip so now if we look at our target list road trip we should see 191 leads have been now added to that target list that's a very powerful tool because now you have the ability to create marketing campaigns create the target list for those marketing campaigns that are based specifically on uh, very defined regions very defined regions can be created by the map areas and those map areas can you know be more than just states of course they can be you know, your counties your marketing areas your sales areas and it's a very powerful feature very powerful part of the functionality of the maps now um, hope that uh, helps explain some of this functionality and uh, you know, don't forget to donate project needs a lot of help with uh, uh, contributing towards getting this package moving into Sugar Serums version 7. So if you have uh, the funding within any you know company or organization you work with would like to contribute to the rewrite of this package into version 7 of Sugar Serums product, uh, please do so. Contact me directly and enjoy.